Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more Rebel Inc. Escalation with our Brutal Difficulty Guide series. We are moving on to the final map currently available in the game, the most recent edition and also the most unique because it does have a secondary objective that you need to manage. There is a dam in the middle of the map and it is deteriorating and we want to fix it up so convoys are going to be traveling along the main roads trying to deliver supplies. If you can rebuild the dam, then you get a huge boost to your annual income and the stability of the region. But of course the insurgents want to knock down your little dam and also raid the convoys. So they are going to be traveling along the roads trying to take out your convoys and you got to protect them at all costs. While also still stabilizing the region because you still lose all your reputation if you aren't stable. So it's a bit of a balancing act. Kind of tricky. I would not say that I'm perfect at this map yet. I'm still kind of working on the tactics, but I've gotten through it okay. Now, the next governor we're going to use, I would say, is in a pretty decent position for this map. It is the tank commander. The tank commander is exactly what you think it is. You use the tanks. You gotta use them. You don't really have a choice. You're gonna have at least a couple of them. They're really good at fighting an open ground, which is most of this map, and most of the roads are located in open ground as well, so tanks kind of work. However, tanks cannot reinforce. They do cause uh, disruption in local citizens' lives. You lose some support. And they can't travel in remote areas and mountains, so there's a bit of a limitation there, but we'll try to make that work. I am going to go for the standard lineup of our advisors here. I do think the Realist is a pretty decent option, just because uh, balancing the dam and also stability can get a little tricky, and if you find yourself losing a lot of reputation, this can help save your game. But I'm not going to use this as a handicap right now, I'd rather continue fight, uh, using the Tax Collector. Figure out that balancing act so that I can move on to Mega Brutal. Let's go for Brutal Difficulty. We are going to be calling this Romeo Force. Yes, Romeo Force sounds great. Okay, love it. So we're going to place down our HQ. I think the HQ's only viable location is probably right here. Not over by the city. That seems tempting enough. But the advantage of placing it right here is that it's still a pretty decent central location for travel. And also fa uh, functions as an early garrison to help protect the dam tile itself. Which is very helpful when the uh, insurgents inevitably try to raid it and you don't want to bring over all of your troops. You'd rather keep a couple still on the road. So I think this is a very good location. We're going to go ahead and work with that. Now for our standard opening, let's go for the district representatives. Effective procurement, some education initiatives, and then the regional census to get that extra intelligence. Urgent! Restore the dam! Intel suggests that restoring the dam could prevent catastrophic flooding and provide significant financial and stability benefits. Fund the dam construction initiative to begin work. So what they're referring to there is a special government initiative right here called Dam Construction. This is what triggers the convoys to begin delivering the goods to the dam. Every new convoy that arrives will continue adding to the durability of the dam until it reaches 100%, at which point it is considered to be repaired. The dam will degrade naturally over time, so you can't just ignore this. You have to pick it up at some point or else you'll just lose because the dam will literally and break and flood and destroy all of the urban areas down here. And that would not be good for you, so you gotta do it at some point. Uh, in the meantime, though, I do think I'm going to focus on some early infrastructure. I actually think that infrastructure is phenomenally important in this particular scenario just because you need so much more mobility. Also, the better the roads are, the faster the convoys travel, and the more combat bonuses you get as well when you're fighting off the insurgents on those exact roads. So I think that's a high priority. Let's go for the outreach team so we can get those uh, initiatives rolled out a little bit sooner. And then I think I'll go ahead and grab... Do I want to go for Universal Justice early? No, I'm going to go for Telecoms, because I really want to start getting that stability rolling out. I find the difference between Telecoms or no Telecoms in the early game is night and day. Like, I have so much more luck in stability if I go for the Telecoms relatively early. Didn't necessarily have to be this early, but semi-early. Uh, let's go for the PR and Media Office, so we can get a little bit of extra stability coming out of that as well. Getting a little higher on corruption, so pretty soon I want to think about getting a corruption initiative, but it doesn't have to be this exact second. If I go for Universal Justice, for example, that's a pretty nice buff to our support level. At this point, I think we've got enough support that I can start focusing on getting the dam construction up and also start working on uh, my military initiatives at some point. So let's save up $18 to begin working on that. Then I definitely want to go for some anti-corruption uh, methods, but the sooner I get this rolling, probably the better. All right, so once you get dam construction, there are a few new special abilities that are map-specific here that you can unlock. The local employment drive, which increases support level by a substantial margin, especially if you have the PR already set up as well. So this is huge for only 7 bucks. I love that a lot. Armored convoys, so the convoys take less damage and travel faster when they are under attack from the insurgents. Or you guess you could just say less slowly, 
but faster also works. And extended convoys, convoys provide more supplies, so you just get more durability per successful arrival. Now this little warning symbol right here is telling me that the convoys are going to be deploying over here. They will alternate between this road and this road up over here, and then just follow it all the way to the dam. So it kind of gives you some warning where you need to be placing your military units in order to protect them. And you can shuffle them back and forth as needed if you're quick. I'm not sure how quick we'll be, but we can try. Mudsli mudslides devastate the mountain villages. You know I have literally never seen this before. Unusually high rainfall has caused mudslides uh, extra... F f uh, yeah, I don't like the idea of a 70% increase in corruption, but I'm going to have to go for this. We don't have intelligence, so I can't go for extensive age. And I don't want to do this, because I don't want to give the insurgents a recruitment bonus. It's only $2, I just don't like the corruption. Yeah, slight increase. Oh well. So these guys are just going to travel along the main roads over here. Don't mind them. I do need to save up for some tanks, though. You can see that our first coalition soldier has to be a tank. No way around that. It's going to cost me $13. Does reduce your support level a tiny little bit. So the insurgents fired right over here, dangerously close to my dam. Uh, yes, all the more reason that I need to get tank ASAP, because if they make a run for it, then I'm in trouble. Insurgents are changing their tactics. Now, this is a weird quirk of this map. Intel suggests that insurgent forces are radically altering their tactics to prevent restoration of the dam. Rather than focus on controlling zones, they plan to aggressively target convoys and raid the dam site. So in a way, this is kind of good because it means they're not going to focus on getting a bunch of contiguous um, zones sieged down, which means you're not going to lose a lot of reputation just from insurgent control of the map per se. But it does mean it's very annoying that they will just skip zones and run over to your cities or to random roads. Tracking them down can get a little on the annoying side. Let's go for the coalition soldiers because we know we're going to need this. First and second national soldiers also have to be tanks. Nothing you can do about that. Uh, coalition soldiers will be regular foot soldiers from here on out. Once you get your first tank, we do have a couple of special abilities. We have fuel hoarding, which allows us to greatly increase the speed of our military units, but also decreases our support levels by a pretty substantial margin. It's free, but that's horrible, so I don't want to do that. Advanced driving classes mean that they also cause less uh, unrest wherever the uh, tanks are traveling, so that can be helpful. I see this guy coming after us right now, so I definitely need to deploy this tank. Tanks take a little bit uh, longer to deploy from the coalition troops. Still, let's go ahead and place them. Try to fight these guys off. Uh, the longer they sit here, the more damage they will cause, and I don't like that at all. There has got to be a camp somewhere nearby. There it is. It's right there. Okay, I need to get myself some more coalition troops. I find in this map you typically need to get at least three in the very early game just to keep warding off the uh, insurgents from the main road and also try to keep them off of the north and the southern route to just keep these convoys coming. But you know what? It's okay if you don't continue having the uh, convoys arrive. If some of them blow up, it's not a huge deal as long as the dam doesn't break entirely. Which sometimes you can help and sometimes you can't. You never really know. See, they're going for the road here. They're just skipping by the zone and going straight for it. I'm going to use these guys to try and take out these camps uh, quickly while I can. Just knock them out. Especially since these are in the mountains and my tanks can't get over there. But we're going to find out these convoys are going to go into an insurgent area where there are insurgents fighting. And they're going to start taking some damage. Nothing we can do about that. These guys will likely get blown up. Uh, if I can get one more coalition soldier, I will. Now, of course, this does mean that three of these guys are going to want to leave, like, immediately. But I'm hoping we can preserve a lot of our reputation by not losing too many zones. Again, send you guys over here. Let's try to take out this camp before it becomes too much of a threat. I think we were able to fight these guys off of the dam, so let's go protect our HQ. Again, the tanks, very effective when they do fight. So they win these fights pretty quick. No big deal. But outside of that, yeesh. They're slow and they struggle a little bit. So did you destroy this camp? You did, thank you. Okay, so go over... Actually, you know what? You go over here, you tank, run this guy off the road. Run him right off. Wherever the strongest insurgents are, we need to kill them all. Okay. Uh, what else do we need? What are people concerned about? Primarily water. So let's go ahead and start working on that. I do need some anti-corruption initiatives because I'm kind of running a little on the high side at this point in the game. So let's go ahead and burn that down. Keep that support level building up. Don't neglect it. It's super duper important. You need to do it. Uh, these guys are running away. Good. Bring the tank back over here to the HQ. Even one insurgent in this zone is causing a lot of damage and destroying four of those convoys. Also, we've already lost control once again of the dam site. Fortunately, the tank actually killed the insurgents instead of chasing them off there, so that was kind of nice. So once you start taking damage to the convoys, they will go on strike. We can either increase their hazard pay, we can threaten them, which I see is always a horrible option, or accept the strikes and there are no new convoys for seven months. If you have a little durability on the dam and you haven't got control of it, the, uh, the map, then go ahead and accept the strikes. It's not a huge deal. But if you're getting really low on uh, durability on the dam, and it looks like you might actually collapse, well, then you're going to have to go for the hazard pay. There's nothing you can do about that. All right, these guys got pushed away. Let's go get control of the zone again. These guys are making a beeline for the urban areas, which is really unfortunate, but okay. 
We do have our first stable region. That was pretty quick. Let's send the tank over here to the urban areas. So the fact that these guys are situated right next to the dam means that we probably will always have to be pushing these guys away. Fortunately, the southern route so far is uncontested, which I like. That's, that's pretty great. Uh, we do need to continue rolling out initiatives. Can't stop now. I'm going to go ahead and grab um, the highways and some basic health. Just keep rolling these things out. More infrastructure, always good. Another stable zone for me. Okay. Should be able to chase these guys away, no problem. Okay. Now we need to send the tanks over here, probably. I'm going to send you over here and try to chase these guys back. Uh, still no sign of the next round of convoys, so we can use you to probably go right here. And since there's no insurgents actually defending the zone, if I can keep them away from the dam, I would prefer to do that greatly. Makes my life a heck of a lot easier. Keep them stuck in these mountains close to the roads where I can fight them fair. Hey, there's another camp. What do you know? These guys are moving very, very slowly, though, unfortunately. And these guys are actually struggling quite a bit. Mm, I like to think the Coalition soldiers can still win. Let's go ahead and get uh, some more anti-corruption efforts because we're a little high. I would like to start training up some more national soldiers because I know these guys are all going to kind of run out of um, steam pretty much at the same time. And that's not great. Uh, let's try to take out a camp. I'll use the tank since it's already right here. Uh, let's have you... Sit tight for a second. I'm not really sure. There's no sign of the insurgents going anywhere right now. So there's the camp. We're going to destroy it. This guy is going for the roads. So let's go ahead and prepare... Send our soldiers over here to fight them off. As long as you have a military unit in the same zone as the convoys are going through, you take all the cover fire, and they're still able to travel through. So you can have the units. Just keep following the convoys as they go if you want to, and that works out fairly well. Fairly. Uh, where do we go next? Let's see. That is a lot of insurgents sitting right here. That is an absolute ton. Let's go for some national soldiers. And I'm going to go for another PR strategic communications, just to kind of boost up that support level a fair bit. Notice these guys are no longer taking damage as they go. I expect these guys to make a beeline for the road in a moment. No, so far so good. Okay, not bad, not bad. I'm going to go ahead and move up here to the mountains just to kind of prevent these guys from going toward the dam. Still looking okay. Oh, see, he wants to go for the dam. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? But we're fighting him in the zone. He wasn't able to get there fast enough, so now we can start repairing the dam a little bit. Like so. Okay, thank you. Tank, go chase this guy away. Keep him in their filthy mountains. We don't like them. Uh, garrisons are extremely strong. Especially if you have the insurgents already under control, because what means is uh, when the garrison starts spawning up, they likely will have, well, okay, they guaranteed have to be where uh, next to a zone that the insurgents are located in. Likely, in this case, it's going to be along the roads, which means it's going to make it that much easier for me to control them. You could get rid of that camp, because I see it. So I'm going to go ahead and grab garrisons, and if we can pop one up, let's say, okay, right on the dam site, you know what, sure, I'll take it. It's not perfect, but hey, it makes it a little easier for me to keep this place under control in the future. I like that a lot. Destroy that camp, no problem at all. Let's go over here and try to chase these guys off the main road since we have the next round of convoys on the way. People still want more water. Okay, we can roll that out. And I would also like to get the local employment drive for a heck of a lot more support. I think that's really good. Debatably, I should have gotten that a lot sooner. Coalition wants to withdraw soldiers. I think they have to withdraw the first soldier that you deployed. In that case, it will be my tank. There's a good chance that I will get some compensation and also a rapid replacement. Also possibly anger them, but okay. Let's chase them away first. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and negotiate. It's withdrawn temporarily and nothing good happened for me. We did not lose the tank. Okay, I stand corrected. I thought that's how it worked, but I was very wrong. Uh, let's use a tank to go fight you. You guys go over here. If these guys can't get to any roads and convoys, I think they almost always make a beeline for the dam. I am shocked we still don't have any insurgents down here in the south. We almost always would at this point. Notice, by the way, as the highways are finished up, the roads are changing their graphic a little bit, and the convoys are moving a heck of a lot faster, so we like this. This is good so far. We're actually doing remarkably well. I'd say we're being very lucky, too. No doubt about it. I'd like to go for the local rep uh, rec police recruitment drive, just so we can reduce the likelihood of the insurgents taking over control of a zone. Not that it matters too much, but it does help fight them back a little bit. This guy is going for the dam, I can tell you right now. So let's go ahead and redeploy him. Okay, he's not going there anymore. Let's chase him out of here. We have ourselves another tank. Um, I'm going to place the tank right here, since I see a camp. Actually, no. Let's bring you down over here, for example. Move you here. And try to destroy this, if we can. What else do we need? Doing fine, mostly. Uh, more roads would be okay. We have another option here, another special ability called Tank Justice, which greatly reduces uh, corruption, but also reduces support. I don't think it's a very good option unless you're desperate. Okay, this guy actually does need to go over here again because this guy's trying to go for the dam. Fight him back, thank you. Hey, we found a camp preemptively. That was beautiful. Okay, smaller convoy here for some reason. This guy wants to go for the dam and he's going... Nope, he does not want to go for the dam. He wants to go here. Let's chase him out with our tanks. Uh, tanks... 
We're about to destroy this. We have some troops available. Let's move them over here to the road. That's going to get destroyed, so no more down in the south. Uh, we need to reduce our corruption by a significant margin, so I'm going to go ahead and focus on some corruption-reducing efforts, like so. Keep burning that down. Larger convoy over here. I'm, I'm honestly surprised at how well this is going. Um, I usually do not do this well. So this map has been tremendously generous with me up to this point. Notice, by the way, we're doing just fine on reputation and stability. It really helps the insurgents don't want to siege any zones down. Helps an absolute ton. Uh, unofficial contact, let's threaten them and gain some more reputation. Uh, let's see, we want to go for probably some more corruption purges, kind of reduce that down a little bit, make sure that we are not losing anything due to corruption. We are losing 0.29 per month right now, but not a ton. I will build a garrison over here. Again, it helps me control this area uh, away from the dam. Let's move you guys over here and make sure that we actually protect it. Notice that tanks can't go in these remote areas, so this is where you have to use foot soldiers. Um, I can afford to do a long extension, so I'm going to. We have plenty of reputation. Let's keep these guys on hand a little bit longer if we can. It makes my life easier. Okay, what else do we need? Uh, let's go for some remote roads so I can move around a little faster. Insurgents are unlikely to be interested in peace. Yeah, um, if, they have, if the dam is not completed, then I don't think you literally can accept a peace deal with these guys. Pretty sure that's physically impossible. So there you go. Uh, we have an insurgent fighting over here. He can't take control of the zone right now, and I'm guessing that's because his strength is only one. And we do have a police recruitment drive. So technically, the police might be able to handle this guy on their own, which means I'm not really feeling too worried about it. I'll go drive him out anyway, but they might just be able to kill him. Just straight up. Uh, let's see, what else do we want? I would like to continue working on some more national soldiers because we're not going to keep these coalition guys around forever, tempting though it may be. Let's get ourselves a second round of tanks. Okay, this guy now wants to leave, and I'll probably will let this tank go. Let's go destroy this camp real quick. I'm going to chase you back into the mountains. We should be getting drones and airstrikes looking for any more of these camps and try to destroy them, too. Um, let's see. So far, this area is super-duper stable. I'm really surprised by this. Let's go up over... <sighs> nah, stay put. Honestly, it's working just fine. Stay put here. Stay the course. How are we doing in this zone? Not a lot of stability in the remote areas. I'm not surprised by that. Uh, but okay. What else do we have here? Yeah, we'll threaten more. Keep getting some more of that reputation. Uh, let's see. We want... What do we want? Uh, we want to get probably some more roads, actually. Uh, you guys now need to be sent home. I think you just destroyed the camp, though, so that was good timing. Okay, so no more spawns there. You have to run up over here. Perfect. Which means, again, if more garrisons are going to spawn, it's along the road here, which makes it that much easier. So I like that a lot. You go here, keep him off of the roads. Doing great, doing great. Uh, tank, go on a patrol pattern, I guess. Nah, no, stay where you are. Let's not worry about it too much. Doing fine. So far, we're doing just fine. Let's train up some more soldiers. Let's go for another government uh, corruption purge if we can. There we go. Want to keep that on the down low. 39% and taking down fairly rapidly is pretty decent. Not a lot of intelligence in these regions. It actually would be very worthwhile to go for interpreters and guides. So we can start gathering intelligence here and try to find camps a little bit faster. Uh, I will threaten you once again, of course. There's not a lot of point in going for any sort of peace talks. Look how much progress we're making, though. Okay, you're going for the city. You're not actually going to stay in this zone. Now, what we could do is go for the extended convoys, which gets me even more progress. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Okay. I'm going to fight this guy off before he can get anywhere. So that was easy. Okay, what else do we have going on here? Uh, prison reforms are considered. Let's go for the full reform and get three more reputation for seven bucks. That's a perfectly fine deal as far as I'm concerned. You've already been chased away. Let's send the tanks over here. They should be able to go not as fast as I kind of was expecting, honestly. I thought we'd have a bit more infrastructure than this, but okay. Let's try to chase these guys out of here. Uh, we want... I'm going to go ahead and grab the uh, surveillance drones. And I probably would like to go for some more other initiatives. Probably the interstates again, because I'm not happy with this travel time. It's just not good enough. But the tanks were able to arrive, so we're okay. Let's send you over here. We can build another garrison, which makes this even easier. Perfect. Send you back over here. Oh, no, wait, never mind. You're going for the urban area. Fight them off. Plenty of stability, though. We're doing just fine. Uh, I do not want you to go on strike, because we actually are making plenty of progress. Let's keep the convoys coming. I think we've got plenty of control up to this point. There we go. I think the mistake that I've made in this map quite often is I will go and protect the roads and I leave the dam open. And what happens at that point is the insurgents are able to easily sneak by and start doing damage. Controlling the area around the dam and keeping them away from the uh, adjacent zones seems to make a fairly large difference, if I'm being honest. 
All right, let's go for, uh, let's say, a democratic transition. I'm surprised we haven't had any foreign relation issues up to this point, but okay. Let's go for those interstates. Any concerns? Not at all. This has been a very, very forgiving map. Hey, we found uh, their camp. We knew that was there, but there you go. Uh, I would like to prioritize the elections, but I don't think we can afford it at the moment, so let's just go ahead and plan out the elections. I guess we could have waited until we had some more money generate, but we're doing fine in terms of stability. Absolutely no problem up to this point. Uh, let's see. Materials are missing from the convoy deliveries. A 1.3% shortage of materials. Oh boy, that sounds like a rounding error to me. Investigate half future convoys to perform the full investigation. Uh, investigation takes 11 months. I'm just going to go ahead and order some extra. I don't think it's really worth waiting 11 months or having half the convoys arrive. Now, let's try deploying some troops in position to start taking these guys out. I'm going to go ahead and grab airstrikes once I get a bit more money, too. I want to make sure we win this fight. It's going to cost $24. That's a bit expensive, but okay. Because we have garrisons located here and here, we can have enough troops currently with this coalition set up to chase these guys out and fully kill them. And there's not a lot of places that they can respawn a camp. So that's why I want to go for the airstrikes, and then I want to go ahead and send some coalition troops, and let's see if we can't crush them. Camp is down, so no more are going to spawn. They should have plenty of reinforcements, albeit none from the tanks. Fight here? Okay. What kind of strength are we looking at over here? Uh, 18 strength. I don't know if that's the cap, but it's pretty close to the cap. Either way, with this much reinforcements, we should be just fine. Threaten for a little bit more reputation. Uh, this is where we need the foreign relations. Let's go ahead and do that. If you have a little bit of money on hand, always go for the foreign relations office. Never go for Counter-Strike. It always seems to fail. Or if it doesn't fail, it does. it's too costly. For almost the same cost, you can just do subtle pressure. In this case, it didn't even give me a percentage chance of success, but oh well. And there they go. They are all dead. Okay, let's go ahead and move to these mountains. Try to prevent any camps from spawning there. Let's go ahead and unsiege this. The dam should be finished very soon, and then we will have the full stability. Beautiful. This actually worked out extremely well. That is the best performance I have had by a long shot. Very, very pleased with that. Let's go for some national travel logistics and then some extra remote roads. Let's uh, get some jobs concerns. Not that anyone has complained about it, but okay. Dam is nearing completion. Uh, if I wanted to go for the extension to our supplies... No, we already did that. Never mind. Yeah, there's nothing we can gain there. Okay, uh, let's go for the remote outreach. Oh, hey, we found a camp. Let's go ahead and take that out. Are these areas considered remote? Yes, these are considered to be remote deserts. So remote outreach and subsidies work out very, very well for me. We will do that again. Not too much inflation, I don't think. Destroy this camp. You want to go home? Uh, I'm going to keep you as long as we can, but yeah, you can leave. Won't be a big deal. Marine conservationists request aid. Uh, they are worried about fish migration routes. Protect the fish and gain reputation. All right, sure. We could harvest them for money, which is hilarious, but I got an achievement called Flying Fish for doing that, so awesome. I'll take that, absolutely. Uh, what's going on here? We're going to go ahead and try to talk and just gain some extra reputation by uh, threatening the insurgents more and more, but I think we are about to win. We have over 100, so we should be just fine. Send you guys home. You've done your job. I'm very impressed with you. Let's try going for some extra uh, civil assistance here so that our troops can quickly build up some new efforts. You, once again, we are going to send home. No more coalition soldiers. I haven't even gotten all of my national soldiers, but up to this point, we haven't really needed them which is pretty funny for me. Uh, let's go for the development bank and then the remote subsidies, which give me even more buildings in the remote areas, which are about to become stable over here, for example. Ban them, go ahead and antagonize them, get that reputation, though I don't think we're going to need it. Uh, we'll imprison them, of course. We can go for the advanced driving classes to cause uh, less drop in support where I have my tanks currently placed, so this should build up a lot faster now. Insurgents, of course, will have to apologize. You go into these mountains. Okay, hand in all over your weapons. Oh, we found a camp. Hang on, we'll have to deal with that in a second. Uh, let's go for a local police expansion. Okay, we found you guys. Actually, go right here. This is where you were before, and they decided to fire again for some reason. How very, very unfortunate, because I don't actually have enough troops to kill them all in the mountains. Okay, let's start training another one. They actually spawned a shocking number. Strength of 11 already, and no reinforcements coming in from tanks, unfortunately. Wow, that actually sucks. I didn't think it was going to be an issue. International forces can remain indefinitely, sure. Uh, we will have full elections for five more reputation, and I will probably have to hire some more coalition troops to actually take these guys out and get the reinforcements that I need. Uh, I don't know. We're doing okay, sort of. We did find out where they spawned, so let's go ahead and fix that. Okay, place you here. Found another camp. Actually, you sit tight. You go here. Build a garrison? Absolutely. Which means we need to destroy this camp, but the garrison actually prevents these guys from going too far. Should be able to destroy this without too much issue. I want to draw them into areas where my tanks can fight them. Uh, we are going to reject the deal, because as of right now, there are too many insurgents. The dam is complete, by the way, so 
excuse me, we should be getting a lot more money from our annual budget. And also, uh, we should be uh, getting a lot more stability in the region. Let's see, we need to chase you out somehow. Um, you're kind of stuck at the moment, so if we go over here quickly, we can kill you. just want you to go FAA for a second while these guys are trapped. Uh, we are going to do Settle Pressure again. 46% chance it worked. And, come on. A new Air Force for better national strength? Alright, sure, I can spend the money. That's fine. You're dead. Okay, so we're going to send you here. We have a garrison there already. Send you here. Send you here. And if we can get one more soldier set up, we can actually just kill them right now, and I can go for a peace deal. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's worth spending the money. Oh, gosh dang it, they spawned some more. Hang on. It's fine, it's fine. We just need to kill these guys real quick. Don't mind me. Squisha, squisha. Thank you. You go here. There's another camp. You go here. You go here for now. Let's get this zone back under control. There it is. Okay, these guys should be easily fully surrounded. Let's go ahead and try to kill them. Uh, actually, these guys may take a little longer to arrive than I expected, but we can get them now. There we go. And they have nowhere to go. Perfect. All right. Set up some more troops uh, over here, I guess. Sure, fine. Seems good. Let's go for some extra guns, I guess, because reasons. Let's go for some other initiatives, healthcare, blah, blah, blah. A lot more corruption, but that's fine. What do we have over here? We are going to approve a project with oversight, and we had some more guys spawn. Of course we did. All right, destroy that camp. Thank you. You go here. 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 Take him out. Take him out. Don't let him set up and take out my zones. I want to accept a peace deal. Kill him quickly so I can accept. Squish. Got it. And now we should be able to accept a peace deal. It won't, it won't uh, decrease my reputation at all. And we win. That went amazingly. Absolutely phenomenal. Best I've ever done. Trying to figure out exactly what I did that was so good. Uh, I think going for the three coalition soldiers early on does help you gain control pretty quickly. Definitely keep them away from the dam. Uh, and, yeah, no, that just went really well. We got lucky because nothing spawned in the southern half the entire game. Which is really weird. But I will not complain at all. Five stars, 17,000 points, I think pretty well deserved. All right, so we have only one governor left. That is all of the maps for this Brutal Difficulty Guide series. So one more video to go, and then we will be ready to move on to Mega Brutal. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the notify bell, and I, as always, will see you guys next time.